Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great week. We got a lot of great things going on over here, really exciting stuff coming up. But today I wanna to start a brand new project. I don't know how many videos this is gonna be. This is another collaboration with a great friend of mine. I met this guy about two and a half years ago. Actually had done some work. Uh, he actually found me on Instagram. Uh, and I'm speaking of Jeremy Crawford from Countryside Workshop and uh, he's got a great logo i'm really excited about making this sign for him he's part of the woodshop 101 podcast team of uh, drew short and uh, sam woodall from sam ryan's designs anyway um, i'm really excited about doing this i'm going to do stuff different than i've ever done before so brand new processes so um what we're going to do is um Jeremy had a certain size that he was kind of looking for. He uh, kind of liked dark wood rather than light wood. And I found a piece of wood that I've never carved this stuff before, but I'm excited to give it a try. About uh, three or four months ago, we were down in Phoenix and we were with uh, Sadie from um, Awesome Orange. And uh, she found this, these people that had a bunch of wood in their garage and they were just getting rid of. And uh, I picked up a piece of this stuff along with some other stuff of uh, what I think is mahogany. Although I'm not sure, I am not a wood expert by any stretch, but from everything that I can tell, I, I kind of went on and did some research on it. This is super dense, very hard, and based on uh, the way it looks, the way it feels, my experience, and that ain't a lot when it comes to hardwoods, I think it's mahogany. But whatever it is, this is what I'm using. So uh, you guys have a, a sense of what it is out there, let me know. So here's what I'm gonna do. I've gotta blow this thing up. I'm gonna use the inkjet transfer method and transfer this onto the board. I've got some special elements here that I haven't done before, uh, not quite like this, and I so I want to, uh, we're gonna be going through that. But uh, I'm gonna do the transfer method off camera, so I'll show you, I'm gonna give you a couple of videos that you can go watch, number uh, 305, um, and that's the one that I did that was on a piece of white poplar. And I think it was a dog, uh, a dog memorial tribute kind of thing. But go watch that one, 305, about nine minutes in is when I start to do the transfer. That's exactly the way I'm going to do it here. And then uh, number 310, the one I did for Drew Short, Rocket H Woodshop. Uh, again, the same exact transfer method that I used on both of those, I'm going to do here. So 305 and 310. Go watch those videos. And when we come back, the transfer is already, already going to be done here. Here, but that will save me time in on this video so you guys can go check out those videos and then when we come back the transfer will be done we'll get right into making some sawdust all right folks well we got the layout pretty much done so I did my transfer just like I talked about on those other two videos I did my transfer with the freezer paper and the inkjet um, so go back and watch those other videos but one thing that I did want to reiterate is always make yourself up a mock-up so I made this one I took the time to make this mock-up first and that told me where I wanted to draw my registration lines so I knew everything was centered top to bottom and left to right so that definitely uh, it, it seems like an extra step that may not be necessary but it absolutely is as far as I'm concerned so there's a couple little light spots that I'll probably need to fill in here and there but not much you can see I kind of penciled in a couple spots so I might pencil in a little bit more but other than that it's pretty much ready to carve now I'm going to do something special on the border but I'll get into that after I get all the letters carved so we'll be back and start making some sawdust Hey guys, I just want to show you something that I'm going to try here. You guys know that I use this little, uh, what I call my little octopus light uh, from uh, for carving and uh, it sheds a lot of light. But the problem I have is they kind of swing around a little bit. They're just put on here on the the cord with a clamp. But what I try, I tried this earlier and it worked out really well. So I, um, I tried to actually put some electrical tape on this and then on these stems and then I use the star bond 
and the star bond held amazingly, but the tape let loose. So here's what I'm gonna do, and we're gonna try this and see if it works, but uh, based on my prior uh, experiment, it worked really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use this scar star bond thick, and I'm gonna glue it right to the edge of the base plate there, or the housing. Can I ask a question? Yes. I'm gonna give my input. Yep. Since you've got these little things right there, couldn't you glue it also on there? Can uh, I put glue on both spots? Yes, that's a really good point. See? I think you are correct there. I would kind so of give it extra support. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Great idea. See? All right, I so. I have one once in a while. <laughs> you have one more than <laughs> once in a while. So I'm using the Starbond Thick. That's uh, my favorite. So I'm going to put a dot. Dop, a, dap, a, dollop. a dollop there, and then I'm going to spray that real quick, and I'm going to let that set for just a second or two. Yeah. Now, I'm going to put some up here oh, you're brave experimenting on camera yeah we're gonna give it a shot and we're gonna see <laughs> if that we're gonna see if that holds I like the idea of flooding that whole area with light, though. So we'll leave that. We'll put a dab there. Put it in place now. Put a dab up here. I know my hand's in the way there. Sorry. Hopefully you can see that now. So now, will these ever come off? Mm, probably not. <laughs> I'll probably have to use an angle grinder now to get them off of my my housing. But anyway. Those are just, uh, you just charge them like you would a battery, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think I've glued my thumb. Oh, I temporarily glued my thumb to the... Anyway, so we're going to let that set for a few minutes, then we're going to get into our carving, see how it works. Hey guys, all right, so let's get into the carving. Before I do that though, uh, the, the spray that I did, I didn't really show it on the last scene, but I used the accelerator. That causes that star bond to, um, to glue super fast, uh, or to, to actually set up. But look how solid those things are. <laughs> I mean, they are friggin' rock solid. I'm really hoping that this this holds. So what I will have to do is I'll have to take this off because that whole uh, housing has to come off uh, in order for me to change those router bits. Anyway, so I've got the carving liner bit in and it's set at about an eighth of an inch right now. That's the, um, the new Amana carving liner that I'm using. So um, I think I am about ready. Let me put my headset on. Put my cheaters on, and uh, in case you guys didn't remember, I always keep my uh, my layout, my artwork right next to where I'm carving, so I can reference back to it. So let's get this uh, rooster done here. Here we go.
Okay, so I've got all that really tiny detail that I needed to do with the uh, the carving liner. Now I'm going to put in the profile bit. I'm pretty sure the rest of this, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to keep that, uh, that carving liner in there and I'm going to do this uh, next. So these little hammers, crossed hammers, are actually going to be outset. Uh, everything inside of this box is going to be inset. So I'm going to do the fine detail around those hammers. Then I can switch over to the profile bit. So let's get that done first. My first uh, reaction to carving this uh, mahogany, or what I think is mahogany, man, it carves really good. It's very solid, very heavy, very dense, but um, not real grainy, uh, doesn't seem to be very chippy, carves really good. So I am going to, we're going to come back, I'm going to put the profile bit in, and I'm going to uh, move on with the carving uh, this detail. Okay, so I've got the profile bit in. You guys know what that looks like, but basically I got the profile bit in and I got it set at about 3 sixteenths. I think that's going to be about right, but I may adjust it. If I do, I'll let you know what I adjust it to. I won't really know till I carve, so I'm going to come down this way and start working on these uh, comb teeth, I guess. That's <laughs> what I'm calling them. Here we go. Okay, here's a perfect example of what I didn't take care of because I was in a rush and now I have to fix it. Um, I really should have drawn that straight line coming down those. Those really aren't clear enough and I really need to draw those lines on there. I think my... Let me get a straight edge real quick and I'll draw a line. Thank you, babe. That's what I should have done to begin with. But fortunately, I think I can fix it. Ooh, I like that better. This is a little sharpie, but it's a really, really super fine tip. So, we're just running on the fly here, guys.
Yeah, that gives me a much better line to go by. Sometimes uh, the layout can be a little bit um, a little bit fuzzy when you're blowing something small up to this big. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this, spin this board to where I am pulling that straight line straight at me, which is uh, the best way to do it. line there that I missed before. So it appears to be the line going straight across there. Yep. Should again, should have drawn that line before, but now I know where it's at, so now I know the line I need to cut across there. Let's do it. Okay, folks, you can see what I'm doing there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and all of this uh, off camera. So then when we come back, we can get more into this and start on these inset letters. Okie dokie. So here we go. So I've got all the detail done there. Now I'm going to go in and cut this box. I'm going to make a little bit more room around these hammers. Then I'm going to go in and, and make a little bit more room in there. Here we go.
Okay. So there, I don't, I can't remember whether I told you or not, but I was at about three sixteenths deep with a profile bit there. So now let's, I'm going to back that off a little bit, maybe go more like an eighth of an inch to do my first cut on these inset letters here. I am going to do that. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a good point. I'll go ahead and do this first with a little, uh, what is that called? Saw bit. Saw bit. Saw teeth. Yeah, that's saw, it. Saw teeth. Saw teeth. Okay guys, one thing I want to go over here is this is a perfect example of um, when I talk about my depth, I don't go by depth as much as I do width of cut. You can see in, in a lot of this carving here and even when I was doing the box around here, I am, uh, I think I've got that set about now about an eighth of an inch, but at some places, yeah, it's about an eighth of an inch now, but in some places it was three sixteenths, but it really doesn't matter. It's more the width of the cut. So even though I was at three sixteenths on these letters, there was many times like on here where I was lifting the router base. So I wasn't really going by depth as much as I was width of the cut. So it really, uh, depth really has not much bearing on it. It's more the width of the cut on, depending on what it is you're doing. Like at the top of this W here, uh, you know I had to pull out quite a bit. So even though I'm 3 sixteenths or eighth of an inch here, I was probably only a sixteenth up here in, at the top. So, you know, just don't get so caught up on exactly what depth I'm at or what you're at. Go by the width of the cut for what you're actually cutting and for the, um, the bit that you're actually using. So, um, that is it for this one, guys. Um, I know we're going long, so what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to go ahead and finish up these small letters down here. On the next video, we'll get into these big letters. Hopefully, we'll get the border done, get it sprayed, sand it off, and maybe even get the finish going on it. But there's a couple things on here that I'm going to do that I haven't got into yet that's going to be different than what I've done before. So, hope you guys all have a... 
a great week. I'm not sure exactly when you're seeing this. You might be seeing this on Monday, maybe on a Wednesday. I'm not sure, but I hope things are going well for you guys. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please email me directly, eric at makeawoodsign.com. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And I'm on Instagram every day, make a wood sign. And don't forget, when you do subscribe, if you do subscribe, click that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified when we go live or when we do our videos three times a week. So anyway, guys, thanks again. If you need any supplies or anything, the website's up there. We love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.